Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So before we get into today's video, make sure you like this video, subscribe down below, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of my lovely videos. So let's get on with today's video. So today, we're talking about how I use my emotional support dog, what I use it for, why I have ones for autism, how um, me having an emotional support dog came to life. So if you watched a few videos back, I talked about how my dog died. And that's where the whole emotional, I always knew I needed a little tiny little dog just to carry around. And so, you know, I was manifesting and manifesting and then all of a sudden, little Barney was his name. Barney was his name. He just came into my life all of a sudden. Like, it was very, like, manifested. Um, and so I started using him, and he started helping me with, like, anxiety and keeping me calm. And what he, like, really did when I – and he really started helping me with, like, my meltdowns whenever I would melt down. Instead of, like, being angry and acting out, I would go to him once I noticed that would start happening, and he would calm me down. One of the things that he particularly did is he gave me kisses, and what Rosie does is very different because each dog is different. Um, and that really helped, and she would travel with me, and I, when I went on vacation to the place I vacation at every multiple times a year, I would be so anxious I couldn't be without him and I kind of needed his support and because of my anxiety so he started helping me just be calm and him just holding him made me feel better and just his energy so now let's talk about Rosie so Rosie is my current ESA we haven't got her paperwork um like done and everything for her to travel I don't know if she's ready for that her personality is very spunky and sassy and she listens but only on her time and she doesn't really like to do something that she doesn't want to do but she's truly amazing and she just worships me and is an amazing emotional support dog too instead of giving me kisses she kind of sits on me and lays on my chest which is actually what um Autism service dogs and ESAs for autism are meant to do. They have a bigger dog, like a lab, that kind of size dog. And whenever they're feeling emotionally, like whenever they need that, the dog would sit. But I felt like I wanted a more tiny dog and I wanted a chihuahua. Um, I always knew that. And so that's what she does. And how I have them registered, how I had him registered, I would need to make a whole video but in like a quick little nutshell is that they weren't they did not go Barney did not go through any training I think Rosie will have to go through some training I think she needs something but she has the supporting part down she needs some of the manners um down and so they need to learn how they have to be able to do certain things but I don't know if this is the whole USA, but in my state, how it would work is they could not question, and you could have a medical note, so you could go to the doctor, or, um, or there is also online resources, and they can write you a prescription for your dog that you have, or, you know, you can also, you know, get one trained, but... I prefer rescuing, and I can only rescue. Um, rescuing is just so much better. You're saving a life, and there's plenty of dogs in the particular. There's certain breeds that are hard to find, but, like, Chihuahuas, Labs, uh, you know, those common emotional support dog breeds, you can find in a shelter, and it's just really better for the animal. You're saving a life. I saved Rosie's life. She would have probably got put down that same day. So, you know, doing that, you're not only helping yourself, but you're not only saving a life and opening up a spot for a new life to be saved. Um, so I personally would not, you know, buy one and get it trained, and that's also a lot of money, too. But you can also, you know, I kind of just gauge, and whenever I would, whenever I was looking for that perfect dog, I would kind of gauge and I would feel like if we were connected and when I knew it was the right fit, I knew it would work. 
and I went th I went through shelters of shelters in my area, and you know, we and my mom had an urge to take me to our local um, animal services, and there was Rosie, and I wasn't sure if it was right, but in my heart, I knew I had to have her. I knew I had to save her, um, and she has been the perfect match. And one of the things I have found with both of my um, ESAs, I knew when Bonnie knew I didn't need him and he taught me what he needed to taught me, I knew he would go. And I knew that and he told me that. It's crazy how I can talk. You, I truly believe I can talk. I can talk to dogs. I know I can. And I know once I know the dog, I can definitely hear them. Um, and that's one of the things I really am good and we have intense conversations and I do with Rosie and I just knew but I think I'm in this instance as long as Rosie needs me I feel like but at the same way I think Rosie needs me and she needs a good home and I need her so I think this is more when Rosie's done needing me if that makes sense for this particular and that's kind of how they help me and they just kind of support me whenever I'm upset or whenever I'm really anxious or having a hard day. I don't want to be away from them. Well, there's not a them. One of them would have my dog and I would want to hold them. So I will take them, you know, to the store. They obviously um, cannot go into um, places that they serve food. But in the airport, what we would do is because they're so... Barney was so small that he would just kind of sit next to me in the booth and no one really noticed him so he wasn't disrupting or really doing anything to you know break code um so that was the only time we would ever and where we travel to in Panama um it's pretty um the area we're going to in there they just don't care there's cats in the restaurants um so and a lot of times dogs hang around so it's not like America where you can't bring dogs in and the culture with dogs are also very different. So that's what I kind of have to say. Let me see. Is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. Thank you so much for watching. So make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my lovely videos. Hit the like button. I'm not sure what I have said. But thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I love you. Bye, guys. I thought I would do a funny British accent for fun. I just felt like it, okay? Bye.